the warm weather doesn't just bring us outside. It also brings out a lot of copperhead snakes. Yep, that's right. It's copperhead season, and Alia Yu from Reptile Rescue of the Carolinas is here to tell us what you need to know. And I don't want to know anything about snakes usually, <laughs> but today I know that you have good information for us, so welcome. Thank you. All right, so we're starting off with why is it copperhead season? Well, so, you know, it's finally warming up. Everything's, you know, kicking off springtime. And the copperheads are coming out of hibernation and looking for food, looking to mate, and just kind of wandering around. Okay. So this time of year, we see a lot of human copperhead interactions. Okay, lots of them. Okay, these are copperheads in the tank here. Do they all look like this? Yeah, have, okay. um, the ones in North Carolina will all pretty much look like this. You'll have the um, I call little Hershey's Kisses along the side of their. Um, yeah, I see what you mean. You know the pattern going down. Uh huh. And if you look at it from the top, it almost makes an hourglass shape. Yeah. And there's no other snakes in North Carolina or really in the East that'll have that pattern. Oh. So they're fairly easy to identify. Does that make them okay? But they're hidden, like when. So if that's in a bush, I'm not really gonna see it then. Yeah, they're camouflaged to leaf litter mostly, oh. and. If they're in leaf litter, they'll probably be trying to ambush something and just staying put. Okay. And usually at that point, they'll stay there for hours. If you walk by them, they won't even move a muscle. Wow. Okay, why should we be more concerned about copperheads versus other kinds of snakes? Well, so copperheads are the only common venomous snake in the triangle area. Okay. We have very rarely cotton mouths or rattlesnakes, but these are really the only ones that you'll encounter that could hurt you. Oh my gosh. So, um, oh. oh. I was gonna say, what happens if you get bit? So if you get bit, it's very intense pain, a lot of swelling, um, maybe some minor nerve damage. So definitely something to go to the hospital for. And be cautious of. Mm -hmm. And what about pets? So being outside and maybe encountering one of these. So yeah, cats. You know, they'll try to bring in all sorts of snakes. So you know, definitely outdoor cats this time of year are at higher risk. Okay. Dog, and what about dogs? Yeah, dogs. You know, they try to get into everything. They put their noses in everything. So. You know, always watch your dog when it's outside. If you see him rooting around trying to grab something, you know, always be careful. Okay. You've said you live in Chapel Hill, and you said mm -hmm. you see these all over Chapel Hill, even on the campus of UNC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do amazing around people. They're opportunistic feeders. They're very well hidden. Yeah. You rarely will see them. So. Yeah. And you caught those in Chapel Hill. Yep, so right crazy. outside Chapel be Hill. Be careful so. out there. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank More you. More information on these reptiles go to Carolina. <laughs> Reptile Carolina Rescue Store. We'll put it on the web. <laughs> See you guys later.